This video introduces the concepts of addition and subtraction of matrices. Previous videos then looked at definition of matrices, some basic notations, some special cases, square matrices, symmetry and so on. So here we start to do some operations with matrices and in particular we're going to look at addition and subtraction. Viewers should note that these results are by definition. They cannot be proved or derived. They are defined. Requirement then. Matrices can only be added or subtracted if they have the same dimensions. Because adding matrices of different dimensions has no logical meaning. Now here's an example where students could easily make a mistake. What if you wanted to add a constant to a matrix and you notice the keyword this is a poorly defined concept because a constant could be considered a one by one matrix whereas the matrix may have dimension r by n and therefore anybody seeing that is going to say what do you mean if you want to add the same constant to every element in a the matrix then you should state this explicitly Addition and subtraction of matrices. What you do then is you add or subtract components in the same position. And therefore you'll notice that if I write matrix C equals matrix A plus matrix B, that's the same as looking at every position separately and writing Cij equals Aij plus Bij. In order to do this, the matrices have to have the same dimensions because obviously we're doing it for every position in the matrix. Here's an example then. You can see A is given here and B is given here and I want to find A plus B. What I'm going to do then is take the 1, 1 position which has got a 1 and a 2 and if I add those two together you'll see I get 3. Then I could take the 1, 2 position you'll see there's a 3 and a 2 if I add those together, I get 5. Then I may take the 2, 1 position. You'll see there's a minus 3 and a 7. I add those two together, and I get a 4. And finally, take the 2, 2 position. You'll see there's a 4 and a minus 6. If I add those two together, I get minus 2. Some more examples then. So let's do the top one first. I've got to add A and B. So if I take the 1, 1 position, there's a 2 and a 4, that gives me 6. If I take the 1, 2 position, there's a 3 and a 2, that gives me 5. If I take the 2, 1 position, there's a minus 3 and a 7, that gives me 4. And the 2, 2 position, a 4 and a minus 6, that gives me minus 2. What about the next one? This is a bit longer. In the 1, 1 position, a 2 and a minus 2, adds together to give me 0. Then a 3 and a 0 adds together to give me 3. Next row, minus 6 and 12 adds to give me 6. 4 and 6 adds to give 10. And the final row, 3 and 8 adds to give 11. 4 and 7 also adds to give 11. Which of these identities are correct? So what I'm going to do is just calculate G plus C and see what I get. Well, G plus C, I've got 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. Minus 2, sorry, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. And 5 plus 4 is 9. And what I've got to do now is compare that to F. And I can see that is indeed equal to F. So this one is correct. Next one, I need to do A plus D. So I'll squeeze that one in over here. So if I do A plus D, 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, 6 minus 2 is 4, and 8 minus 1 is 7. And what you'll see is that A plus D is not equal to E. 
some more for you to try. So what I would suggest is you pause the video here if you want and have a look at these, but this has got a key point. If you look at A, what do you see? A is 2 by 2. What about B? B is 2 by 3. What do you notice about these dimensions? They are not the same. And therefore, this operation is not defined. You cannot do it. Even though I've given A transposed, because A is square, A transposed is also 2 by 2. So that is not a defined operation. You cannot do it. However, if you look at the case down here, you'll see A is 3 by 1 and B is 1 by 3. And you might be saying, oh, I've got a problem here. But you've been asked to do A plus B transposed. And obviously, B transposed is going to be 3 by 1. So now they will have the same dimensions. So if I add A to B transposed, I'll get 1 plus 2 is 3, 5 plus 4 is 9, and 4 plus 8 is 12. Multiplication by constant. So it's useful to define, and again you'll see I've put the word here to define, what multiplication by constant means when you do it for matrices. Now I'm going to start by doing a slow example. Let's assume I had C, here it is, and then I did C plus C plus C. Now that's just matrix addition, I can do that. But it's not too much of a stretch for you to say, well actually C plus C plus C is the same as writing 3 times C. And you'll see implicitly what I've done there is multiply every element by 3. And this is how matrix multiplication is interpreted. So here's a more formal definition. And again, you'll notice I've emphasized this is a definition. If you write C equals lambda times A, that's the same as writing every coefficient. So Cij is equal to lambda times Aij. And as normal, that's for all i and j. So that's the definition. Here's an example then. I've given you a B, there it is, a 3 by 3 matrix, and I've said, what does it mean if I write 4.3B? And you'll see I've multiplied every element separately by 4.3. That's the definition, that's what you do. Here's a question then. Determine C equals A minus 4D plus 3E, and you'll remember the definition means that for every coefficient, Cij equals Aij minus 4Dij plus 3Eij. So it might be a bit tedious, but if I start in the top, then I'm going to get 2 minus 8 plus 0. So that's the first coefficient. If I now do the next coefficient, I'm going to get minus 2 and then minus 12. If I do the last, uh, the 1, 3 coefficient, going to get minus 2, minus 8, minus 12. Now I've made a silly mistake there in the middle one. Let me just correct that. It should have been minus touch. Middle one there should have been minus 6. And now if I do the bottom row, so I'm starting with these coefficients in case you're wondering what's going on. So the A is 0, minus 4D gives me minus 8, plus 3E gives me minus 6. And then I move to the 2, 3 position, and I'm going to get 6, plus 8, plus 24. And then the final one, I'm going to get 8, plus 4, plus 27. So a bit tedious but straightforward. A question then. Prove the following. A matrix W is symmetric. Show that W minus W transposed equals zero. Now, I'm not going to do any numerical examples. I will leave you to do that, but that's a suggestion. Now, symmetry is defined as the following. Wij equals Wji for all ij, and obviously the matrix being square. If I substitute that definition into this formula, so I'm going to define D equal W 
minus W transposed, and you'll notice the coefficients of D, Dij, are going to be given by Wij minus Wji. But we've just noted that these two are the same, and therefore, by definition, all the coefficients of D are zero. Summary then. We've defined matrix addition and subtraction, we've defined matrix multiplication by a constant, and we've given a number of examples. <laughs>